हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल एंड पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट एक्सपांशन ऑफ ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक इक्वेशन ओके नाउ हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एक्सपांशन ऑफ ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक इक्वेशन सो लेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस थीटा एंड प्लस आई साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू ई रिज टू आई थीटा second 1 upon x is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta which we have already studied in our previous lecture that is e raised to minus i theta okay so addition of both these that is x plus 1 upon x so this will become cos theta plus i sin theta plus cos theta minus i sin theta so this will become by cancel out both this so this will become 2 cos theta okay now second is x minus 1 upon x so subtraction of both this so this will become cos theta plus i sin theta minus cos theta plus i sin theta so by cancel out this both so this will become 2 i sin theta. okay so now here we have x raised to n so x is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta which we have taken so this will become cos theta plus i sin theta raised to n so this is nothing but by using de moivre's theorem so this will become cos sin theta plus i sin n theta so this is nothing but e raised to i n theta okay and again 1 upon x raised to n so this will become cos theta minus i sin theta raised to n so this is nothing but cos n theta minus i sin n theta is equal to e raised to minus i n theta okay now from this we can say that x raised to n plus 1 upon x raised to n is equal to q 2 cos n theta and second x raised to n minus 1 upon x raised to n okay by taking subtraction so we will get 2 i sin n theta so this formula which we can use in our examples okay now next to expand cos n raised to theta and sin n raised to theta so right to cos n raised to theta is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to n x plus 1 upon x raised to n and sin n raised to theta is equal to 1 upon 2 i raised to n Into x minus one upon x raised to n. Okay, so this so this formula we can use in our next examples. Okay, now second is expand RHS using binomial exp expansion. Okay, okay. Now to solve this, to solve this we have to use binomial expansion. That is x plus a raised to n is equal to x raised to n plus n c one x raised to n minus one into a plus n c two. X raised to n minus two into a square plus up to up to a. Now let's prove that sine five raised to theta is equal to one upon sixteen sine five theta minus five sine three theta plus ten sine theta. Okay, so here we have sine five raised to theta. Okay, so first of all let x is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. One upon x is equal to cos theta minus i sine theta. And we get sine n raised to theta. That is one upon two i raised to n x minus one upon x raised to n. Okay. Now, according to this, we have n is equal to five here. So put n is equal to five. So our equation will become one upon two i raised to five into x minus one upon x raised to five. Okay. Now by using binomial expansion, we will get next term that is one upon two i raised to five. Into first start with high power of a. Here this uh, this is our a and this one is our b. So start with higher power of a and lower power of b. Okay, so this will become x raised to five into b raised to zero. So this will become one. So here x raised to five plus here we have n c one. So use this formula that is x plus a raised to n into is equal to x raised to n. This is our binomial expansion. Equation and second use NCR equation to solve this n factorial to solve this that is n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. Okay, so by using this we will get first answer that is five x raised to four into minus one upon x plus ten x cube minus one upon x raised to whole square plus ten x square into minus one upon x raised to cube plus five x Into minus one upon x raised to four plus minus one upon x raised to five. Okay, this one is our first N C one answer. This is N C two answer. This is N C three, N C four answer, and N C five answer. 
okay so that will become here n is 5 so this one is our 5c1 answer 5c2 answer 5c3 5c4 and 5c5 for example we have 5c1 okay so this is nothing but 5 factorial upon 5 minus 1 factorial that is 4 factorial into r factorial that is 1 factorial okay so this will become 5 factorial is nothing but 5 into 4 factorial upon 4 factorial so this will become 5 okay according to this we will get 10 10 5 okay now next step is 1 upon 2 raised to 5 that is 32 i raised to 5 from here we will get x raised to 5 minus 5 x cube plus 10x minus 10 by x plus 5 by x cube minus 1 upon x raised to 5. Now here you can clearly see that this is x raised to 5 and this is minus x raised to 5. Here we have 5 x cube plus 5 by x cube and here we have 10x minus 10 by x. So our next term will become 1 upon 32i because we know that i raised to 5 is i answer okay and by taking x raised to 5 minus 1 upon x raised to 5 minus 5 common x cube minus 1 upon x cube plus 10 common x minus 1 upon x okay now this is nothing but this equation that is x raised to n minus 1 upon x raised to n so at that place we can put 2i sin n theta so put here in place of this that is 2i sin 5 theta this is 2i sin 3 theta and this one is 2i sin theta okay and by taking two common so our final answer 2i common and by taking 2i common our final answer that is sin 5 raised to theta is equal to 1 upon 16 sin 5 theta minus 5 sin 3 theta plus 10 sin theta okay now our next example that is prove that sin 7 theta upon sin theta is equal to 7 minus 56 sin square theta plus 112 sin raised to 4 theta minus 64 sin raised to 6 theta. Okay, so now here take cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, we can write this cos theta plus i sin theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta raised to 7. And now solve this by using binomial expansion that is x plus a raised to n is equal to x raised to n plus n c1 x raised to n minus 1 into a and up to up to a raised to n where n c r is equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. So we will get our next term that is so next we will get cos raised to 7 theta plus 7 cos raised to 6 theta into i sin theta plus 21 cos raised to 5 theta into i sin theta raised to square plus 35 cos raised to 4 theta into i sin theta raised to cube plus 35 cos raised to 3 theta into i sin raised to 4 plus 21 cos raised to 2 theta into i sin theta whole raised to 5 plus 7 cos theta into i sin theta whole raised to 6 plus i sin theta whole raised to 7 okay now our next term will become by taking by putting this i is equal to i i square is equal to minus 1 this i cube is equal to minus i i raised to 4 is equal to 1 then i raised to 5 is equal to i and i raised to 6 is equal to minus 1 and i raised to 7 is equal to minus i so we will get next term and by putting all this value and by separating real and imaginary parts so we will get next term that is cos raised to 7 into theta plus 21 cos raised to 5 into theta sin square theta plus 35 cos cube theta into sin raised to 4 theta minus 7 cos theta into sin raised to 6 theta plus i 7 cos raised to 6 theta into sin theta minus 35 cos raised to 4 theta into sin cube theta plus 21 cos raised to 2 theta into sin raised to 5 theta minus sin raised to 7 theta. Okay, now next comparing imaginary part. Okay, so here we have imaginary part that is i sin 7 theta and here we have imaginary part that is 7 cos raised to 6 theta into sin theta this one. Okay, so by comparing imaginary part, we will get next term this. And by taking sin theta common from all this term, so we will get next term that is sin 7 theta upon sin theta and remaining part as it is by taking sin theta common. 
here we have cos raised to 6 theta so in place of this we can put 1 minus sin square theta raised to cube here in this place cos raised to 4 theta so in this place we can put 1 minus sin square theta raised to square here in this case cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta so put this 1 minus sin square theta whole cube here also 1 minus sin square theta raised to square and here also 1 minus sin square theta okay now here use equation that is a minus b raised to cube so this is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b and second is a minus b raised to whole square so that is a square minus 2ab plus b square so our next term is 7 into 1 minus sin raised to 6 theta plus 3 sin raised to 4 theta minus 3 sin square theta minus 35 1 minus 2 sin square theta plus sin raised to 4 theta into sin square theta plus 21 sin raised to 4 theta minus sin raised to 6 theta minus sin raised to 6 theta okay now by taking addition and subtraction all this term we will get our final answer that is 7 minus 56 sin square theta plus 112 sin raised to 4 theta minus 64 sin raised to 6 theta okay thank you for watching this video